It seems that teen mom's Nathan Griffith is up for some tough times as he's being placed on high-level monitoring when released from jail for strangulating sister. Nathan has been in jail after allegedly assaulting his sister Heather. The former MTV star was charged with domestic violence by strangulation last week after he allegedly attacked her in a drunken rage. Nathan had a court date in Las Vegas on Tuesday where his public defender asked the judge for him to be released on bail and be monitored by Nevada's pre-trial compliance unit, according to the Ashley's Reality Roundup. The bail is set for $5,000 and Nathan is required to have high-level electronic monitoring. The judge approved a no-contact order and Nathan is not allowed to get in touch with Heather until November 15th. While out on bail, Nathan has to check in with the PCU within two days of his release. The same check-in is required after each of his court dates. Monthly random and scheduled check-ins are also required. To keep tabs on Nathan, the PCU will track his location by putting an ankle monitor on him as well as a court-issued mobile phone. Nathan was staying with Heather and her husband during the time of the attack. Nathan's next court date is on August 1st. Nathan's sister exclusively told the U.S. Sun that after the terrifying incident with her younger brother in her Las Vegas home, she went to the hospital and learned she had suffered a fractured jaw in the attack. She claimed, I went to the hospital after and got x-rays. I have a fractured jaw. The former teen mom star spent nearly a week in the Clark County Detention Center after his arrest for domestic battery by strangulation. As part of the judge's decision to release Nathan on bond earlier this week, he must submit to heavy monitoring, including wearing a GPS tracking device. They will monitor him and make sure he isn't drinking now, which is good, his sister added. So what do you think about this? Do you think the $5,000 bail and the high-level monitoring is enough for Nathan? Do you believe that Nathan's punishment should have been stronger? Do you believe that he should have been released? Do you believe this is going to help out Nathan at all? Let me know what you think in the comments below.